right, time now for After the Call. And today, we're breaking down what was said in the aftermath of Domino's fourth quarter revenue miss. But was there a big focus on the drop in deliveries? Yahoo Finance's Ali Canal was plugged in and has that story for us. Hey, Ali. Hi, Rochelle. And yes, deliveries, that was mentioned very quickly into the earnings call by both CEO Russell Wiener and CFO Sandeep Reddy. Wiener noting that the company is a, quote, work in progress brand and that delivery moves as the economy moves, especially for lower income consumers. Here's what both the CEO and CFO had to say on the earnings call this morning as it relates to deliveries and how that segment of the business will continue to be challenged throughout this year. On the topic of delivery, while there's more work to do on staffing that part of the business, we feel like answers to this challenge exist within the Domino system. Staffing has improved at all positions in our corporate restaurants, including drivers. Continuing to leverage internal best practices around delivery service, as well as innovations in this area like our new electric delivery fleet, should help continue to improve this critical measure. Domino's business model in the U.S. has historically been focused mostly on the delivery and carryout channels, so the shift to sit down hurts us relative to others in the non-pizza QSR who historically have had business models that included sit down and carryout, but have now added delivery to their distribution channels. And this all ties back to my key takeaways from the call. Number one, as you just heard, being those shifting consumer behaviors. One of the reasons why we saw delivery shares shrink as consumers revert to pre-pandemic habits of sit-down. Also, a high inflation environment for food and labor. That's going to continue to weigh on sales. Wiener saying that in order to offset that, the company must maintain value across the entire menu, not just through promotions, and also focus on innovation and, quote, big ideas. There's also operating income headwinds that will continue to be challenged in 2023, weighed by foreign exchange pressures in international markets, and then finally staffing hurdles, once again, tying into those delivery struggles. So for me, I would say the vibes of this call were bad. I'm giving it a three out of 10. The earnings mostly missed across the board. The stock has not improved from that plunge that we saw this morning. In fact, we've actually seen losses accelerate since that call down more than 10%. I appreciate that management admitted things are different. However, what are you going to do to change that? Many analysts on the street believing that they should lean into third-party delivery, especially as those delivery challenges persist within their own business, but we haven't seen that yet. So it's a wait and see moment, but again, shares down a whopping 11%. Okay, so we've got that temperature then on the Wall Street vibe, but what's the view in the Twitter sphere? What, what do actual consumers and people think out there? Well, on Twitter, I think the vibes are bad as well. We saw one user writing about how long it takes to get your pizza delivered, writing, quote, waiting for pizza more than 30 minutes. If you're not sure to deliver within 30 minutes, don't give assurance for 30-minute delivery guarantee. Even try to call delivery staff an outlet. No one picked up the call. And this is something that I've experienced with Domino's delivery. It is very frustrating if you are trying to order something and they just do not deliver in a timely fashion, especially with all the competition out there. I could easily go to my local pizza chain on Grubhub and probably receive that in half the time. And that brings me to tweet number two. This user writing, quote, quality matters. Domino pizza is bad. And this is actually a big conversation I did see on Twitter. Users bringing up competitors like Papa John's, which also reported softer sales outlook for the quarter, those shares down today, and really saying that they would rather go to those local pizza joints than these big giant pizza chains. So going back to that point that Wiener made on innovation and trying to bring more products to market, maybe that is something that Domino's needs to focus on if pizza is a little shaky. We did see earlier this month that they released loaded potato tots. They've teased that there are some other products that are coming down the pipeline. So we'll have to wait and see there. But honestly, for me, I am a big Domino's fan. I will say their flat crust pizza is my jam. So this does disappoint me that they missed on those earnings, that the stock is down so much. But you need to appeal to those consumers, especially within this inflationary environment. Things are different now. So what are you going to do? It's true. No, you, you can't play with people's emotions when they're hungry. You know, we're not going to tweet kind things when we're yeah. already hungry and the food is late. So understandable. Great stuff there, Ali Canal. Thanks so much.